This kite isn't just flying around for fun, it's generating electricity. Seriously. This is Kite Power's AWES, an airborne wind energy system that just kept the lights on in Bangor Eris, Ireland, even during the brutal storm Eowyn that blacked out other parts of the UK and Ireland. There are a lot of different varieties of AWES, but this one is the aerodynamic type, made by Dutch company Kite Power. It works like a giant yo-yo. The kite flies 400 meters up where the winds are stronger and steadier than at ground level. It flies in a figure eight pattern, pulling a tether that's wound around a drum on the ground. This generates between 2.5 and 4 tons of force, spinning that drum at high speed to produce up to 30 kilowatts of electricity per hour. After 45 seconds, it reaches maximum height, adjusts to minimize wind resistance, and gets reeled back in to start all over again. All that power gets stored in a 336 kilowatt hour battery. Well, turbines are massive. Your typical one is 339 feet tall, which is taller than the Statue of Liberty. They cost hundreds of thousands of dollars before you even factor in the nightmare of transporting parts that are longer than a football field. This entire AWS fits in a standard shipping container and can be trucked anywhere. Setup takes under 24 hours with no massive foundation needed. Plus, it reaches wind currents that typical turbines can't reach, so they could actually work together. Same goes for pairing with solar panels, it's kind of a perfect complementary tech. Ideal for remote research outposts, hospitals in blackout-prone regions, or disaster relief scenarios where you need power fast. The tech is still in its infancy with a long way to go before it can compete with established technologies, but when a kite can keep generating power through a storm that knocks out traditional infrastructure, that's definitely worth paying attention to.